Assalamualaikum, dear students. So here we will discuss about the computer network practical number one, which is that how we can access the IP address. So first of all, we will go to the control panel. Okay, here I will find the control panel. so you can see that it's opening here here are different features you can see that the system and the security users accounts and the network and internet appearance and personalization and hardware and the sound programs and ease of access for this purpose we have to go to the network and internet so here are two options you can see the number one option is the network and the sharing centers and other one is the internet options when we go to the network and the internet sharing options here are the some view network status you can see and you can connect a network and you can also view the network computers and devices here are the different options so first of all we will discuss one by one when i open the network devices so it is basically public and this is the access control of the wi-fi connection and here you can see that if you want to create a new connection by pressing or clicking this button you can open a new connection and these are the troubleshoot problems for example if there is some problems in your network and there are some troubleshooting show uh, you will check it from here so you can see that here are the uh, different some options that you can change the adapter setting you can change the advanced sharing settings and you can also change the media streaming options so we will go here and you can see that there are the three options you can connect your system with the help of bluetooth connections ethernet and the wi-fi my system is connected with the wi-fi connection so i will close it if i check the advanced settings so here you can see that there are the different advanced settings you can change your system from public to private and private to public it depends upon you so this is all about the advanced sharing i have closed the control panel button now, now i will open it once again i will go this option okay now i will check this one so now in the last it's the media streaming option mostly you have to use the obs so you can only turn on the media streaming then you will simply go online on any forum now i will go back to the now the next one is the how we can connect a network and this option is available here you can see that there are different connections which are visible here so these are the option which is used to connect a network okay now we will go to the next option which is the view network and network devices okay here this option is empty so you can not uh, view the network devices here so we can see that we can check the properties from here okay these are the properties which are i have already explained okay i will close it and you can see the add devices and the printers so these are the different you can see that the bluetooth and the other devices are connected with my systems okay if i go to this option okay now i will move to the network and the sharing center you can see that this is also the same you can connect your system with the help of the bluetooth and other devices as well so you can see that this is the network connect status and this is connected with the help of wi-fi device okay so you can see that you can change the adapter option and network security shares and you can also check the network troubleshooters as well 
okay now i will move to the next option which is the very important option internet options in the internet options when you go to the you can see that this is the general options in the general option you can browse the history and you can delete any temporary files De, uh, you can delete the history and cookies and thus you can also save the passwords and the fa can get the web form of the information here is the two options you can see delete option and the setting options now i will go to the setting options here you can see that temporary internet files so all these functions are available here you can see now if we move to the history you can see that specify how many days of internet explorer should be save the list of the websites you have to visit it i have saved the 20 days history and i can delete it as well so now i will move to the cache and the dashboards databases this is the main cache in which the websites file storage and the data storage are available if i want to check the security of it i will simply okay uh, press okay button and i can get the information of it now this is the appearance or the personalization in which you can change the colors of it by applying this you can see that here is the different colors you can apply the color and oh, uh, press the button of ok it will be automatically changed the next one is the languages you can see that you can set any language for example it will be go to the languages wait so you can see that here is the language option and here is also the language option i can if i want to add some other language i will apply the language here and i can simply change it okay now i will back to the control panel i will go to this option okay i will not change the any language these are the fonts if you want to change the font size and the font style of the plain text it's the web page fonts and you can apply any font which you want to apply okay the next one is the accessibility accessibility means the ignore color specified on the web page ignore font style specified on the web page ignore font size or specified on the web page if i want to ignore all these i will simply check these boxes and apply it on the accessibility option so i will close it now the next one is the security security means the internet security local intranet and the trusted sites and some strike uh, sites which are not in my use i will simply block these sites so uh, here you can see that i have applied the medium high medium to high uh, security level so if you apply the custom okay custom level you can enable and disable the other options okay by applying the reset buttons the next one is the local internet i will go to the local internet here you can see that the zone is for all websites that found in your intranet okay i will check the sites here are the local internet sites that are not listed in the other zones okay i will cancel it now i will check the different trusted sites this zone contain contains the websites that you trust not the damage your computer and your files you have two websites in this zone so these are the all trusted websites which i have opened so these are the restricted websites this zone is the web is for the website that might damage your computer and your files so we will never ever open these sites now this is the privacy privacy means that you can uh, apply the pop up blockers which sites you don't like in the windows so you can simply apply this the uh, the sites here and you will um, simply mention the address of this site here and simply go to the block option this site will be permanently block okay now the next one is the content content means that you uh, have, you can use the certificates for encrypted connection and identification here are three options clear ssl state certificates and the publishers so we will discuss about one by one okay the cache was successfully cleared if i went, uh, press the button okay then all my data in the which is saved in the cache will be removed or deleted so i will 
cancel it so these are the certificates you can see that these are the certificates other people's and intermediate certificates authority and trusted root certifications we can import it export it and remove it so i will not change anything here the next one is the publisher publisher means that who is the trusted party and who is working on this system these are all the publishers trusted publishers and untrusted publishers okay the next one is the most important thing which is the connections so simply if we want to check the proxy of our system we will go simply go to the connections then we will go to the lan settings here i will apply the lan setting for example 192.168.10.50 okay so here i will go to this option as well for the lan settings i will simply copy this text from here and paste here and i will ch uh, change the port address as well 8080 and i will apply it okay then my ip address will be set i hope it is clear to all of you okay if i want to add the vpn i will go to the vpn option and here i will apply the vpn address and it, it will be applied okay the next one is the programs programs means that you can manage and add ones and set up program and in the advanced settings you can see that there are the different options for example you can see you can say that there are different options these are these are options of the accessibility it's the browsing accessibility and you can browse your data and these are the underlined links okay and smooth scrolling okay these are all the options of the security checks so simply you can apply it which you want to check or uncheck and apply these all uh, functions will be applicable on your system so students it is all about the practical number 1 i hope it is clear to all of you that how we can check the um, ip address of our system and we can uh, manage the uh, port so the next thing is the deleting browsing and you can simply go to the advanced option and you can delete and check any uh, history of the uh, br your browser so it is all about the practical number 1 i hope it is clear to all of you thank you so much if you like this video so kindly subscribe my channel and share it as well thank you so much